The ocean covers nearly 70% of the world's surface and is considered home to some of the Earth's deadliest creatures. But perhaps after seeing what we've dug up, you'll think twice before taking a nice, relaxing dip in your nearest swimming hole. But don't worry, the statistics are actually on our side, and it's quite rare for humans to be part of the menu. Join us as we have a look at some of the world's deadliest ocean animals. The Striped Surgeonfish Now don't be fooled by the name of this fish because it's certainly not here to help you. The striped surgeonfish, also known as doctor fish, and clown surgeons are incredibly dangerous and pack a nasty punch that your doctor may not even be able to fix for you, even with the best anti-venom that money can buy. These fish are also known to be territorial. Choosing one particular location, a large male defends his territory and his harem of females. So if you ever catch a glimpse of one of these eye-catching fish, swim quickly, yet cautiously away. Their diet is mostly herbivorous, but they may eat some types of crustaceans and most of its diet actually consists of algae. These algae-loving fish may look harmless on the outside, but the poisonous spines on their tails make them an underwater force to be reckoned with. The Oyster Toadfish Don't take too much pity on this bottom-dwelling camouflage artist that looks more like a tough, grumpy old man than a dangerous creature. That's because he's got some super powerful jaws that can easily crush tough mollusk shells. Oyster toadfish are able to inject venom into any predator, attempting to eat them as a tasty snack. It's also warned that its dorsal fins and spines are so poisonous, consumption of the fish may actually end in serious illness or death. The males have a particular soft spot for their young and tend to guard the nest, even keeping watch over the young hatchlings during the first few weeks of their life. Males also use their unique song which comes from their swim bladder, acting as a sound production device to attract mates to their nest. And if that doesn't impress you, then the fact that two toadfish were sent on a shuttle mission by NASA in 1998 to research the effects of microgravity on our balance system probably should. They were chosen because of their ability to survive in terrible conditions with little to nothing to eat, and the toadfish's vestibular, or balance system, is similar to our own. They may seem less scary because of their benefit to the science community, but keep your eyes peeled because these fish are camouflaged poison traps hidden on the ocean floor. The Indonesian Needlefish Now imagine this scenario. You're happily swimming and minding your own business when all of the sudden an entire school of Indonesian needlefish decide to attack you jumping out of the water to become deadly target-seeking daggers set on ruining your relaxing day. Well, guess what? It's probably not going to happen, but if you want to be extra cautious, stay away from tropical and subtropical waters where they are commonly seen in large groups. And definitely don't be a night fisherman in a small boat, because they seem to be at particular risk since their lights actually attract the fish. It is rare for people to be attacked by these flying daggerfish, but people have been seriously hurt and killed when stabbed by the fish's sharp, elongated jaws. The Great White Shark This one may be a little bit too cliché, but it still deserves to be in the ranks of the world's deadliest ocean animals. The Great White, after all, is the real inspiration behind the film Jaws, where a giant shark arrives on the shores of a New England beach resort and then sets out to wreak havoc on unsuspecting swimmers. Jaws may have actually taken our fear for the Great White a bit overboard, but let's take a look at why the species makes our list. The Great White Shark is actually one of the world's largest predatory fish weighing somewhere in the range of 5,000 pounds and reaching lengths of up to 20 feet or more. If their sheer size doesn't frighten you, then the fact that they boast 300 teeth should. A typical great white shark's diet consists of sea lions, seals, smooth-toothed whales, and sea turtles. But that doesn't mean they don't like to treat themselves to dessert in the form of a human every once in a while. On average, the United States sees about 19 shark attacks per year and one shark attack fatality every two years. And that means you'll be more than likely killed by a lightning strike before you ever would be a great white shark. The Blue-Ringed Octopus 
The blue ringed octopus looks like the type of thing that you and your child can build at the nearest Build-A-Bear workshop, but don't let its bright yellow cheerful color and blue polka dot pattern fool you. This octopus is one of the most deadliest creatures in the sea. The poisonous venom of the blue ringed octopus is contained in its saliva, and trust me, one bite and you'll wish you'd spent your day doing something else. Anything else. That's because, although most of the survivors of a blue ringed octopus bite say that it's painless, it's the deadliness that is truly frightening. The poison from the blue ringed octopus can enter the system completely shutting down its victim's ability to breathe and causing paralysis within 5 to 10 minutes. In fact, experiments conducted on rabbits showed that a single adult blue ringed octopus weighing 25 grams or about half a pound possessed enough venom to fatally paralyze 10 humans. As of now, there's not been an anti-venom created to counter the effects, and the best way to survive the bite is to seek immediate medical attention, where you'll be aided with your breathing until the poison leaves your system. And if you're a frequent beachgoer in Australia, you may want to pay particular attention to your surroundings, because the blue ringed octopus frequents shallow waters around the area. There have also been a number of reported bites, and some have turned out fatal when unsuspecting people picked the octopus up to get a better look. Children and smaller adults need to be especially cautious, as the poison can travel much faster through their bloodstream. The Stargazer This stargazer is great at using camouflage to quickly snatch up prey like crabs and fish. The stargazer fish gets its name from its eyes being set on top of its head, and when it burrows itself under the sand, the only features that can be seen are its eyes and mouth. The stargazer uses two techniques to catch its prey, by either jumping upwards to catch hold of its victim, or using an appendage attached to its lower lip that appears to its victim to look like a tasty worm. As the unsuspecting fish comes near the stargazer's mouth, it creates a vacuum and sucks its prey in. If those two methods don't work, then its venomous spines, which can discharge electrical shocks of up to 50 volts, are bound to help the fish find something to eat. And remember that 50 to about 150 milliamps of electricity can cause the following, respiratory arrest, severe muscle contractions, and possible death. The stargazer is infamous for its attacks on humans, especially on night divers. In most cases, if a human approaches this fish, it's not going to cause them any harm. That is, unless it feels threatened or disturbed. So just try to stay clear of anything sticking out of the sand with two eyes and a mouth. Or else you may be in for the shock of your life. The Stingray how in the world could we look at the world's deadliest ocean animals without mentioning the stingray? The stingray, although mostly known for being inactive and partially buried in the sand, often only moves with the sway of the tide, and seems to be a sea creature that enjoys the finer comforts in life. Stingrays are also masters of concealing themselves. The tail of a stingray can be used both as a way to maneuver its body in the water when hunting its prey, but it's also a way of protecting itself. Some stingrays have a spine in their tail with a sharp and pointed edge that's serrated, and many of the species, including the blue spotted stingray, have venom, and that venom is delivered through their tail. Stepping on a stingray in shallow water can prove to be extremely fatal. Contact with its stinger causes local trauma, usually from the cut which can cause pain, swelling, muscle cramps from the venom, and may actually result in a bacterial infection. Although the injury may be extremely painful, it's seldom fatal to humans, unless the stinger has pierced a vital area. You might remember the death of Steve Irwin way back in 2006, in which the stinger penetrated his thoracic wall. It would cause him massive trauma and lead to his death. However, the fatal sting of a stingray is extremely rare. In Greek mythology, the stingray was featured in the story of Odysseus, the great king of Ithaca, who was killed when his son struck him using a spear tipped with the venomous spine of a stingray. It would seem that the stingray has created legends of its deadliness through both literature and real-life situations. Killer Whales Killer whales are not dangerous to humans, that is, unless they're held in captivity and tortured for the pleasure of paying customers, and then they just might turn against you. 
To this date, there are no recorded instances of a killer whale consuming a human. And in the ocean, though, they're well known for being intelligent hunters, often called the wolves of the sea for their ability to hunt in groups and pods. The killer whale uses sophisticated hunting methods to capture their prey. This 11-ton predator of the ocean can reach top speeds of up to 30 miles per hour and features a mouth full of 3-inch long interlocking teeth. One of the most interesting aspects of the killer whale is that the hunting techniques vary from region to region, depending on the available prey. One particularly well-researched technique is used against seals in the Antarctic ice shelf. The seals will stay perched on ice floes in what they believe is a place of safety from what lurks beneath them. However, the killer whale has devised a clever way to dump the seals into the water. That's by charging an ice floe in a tight formation and creating a huge wave front. They then dive underneath the ice floe, giving a last second push with their tails, which makes the water crash over the ice floe and sends the seals to the treacherous waters below. Killer whales have also been known to play with their food. This particular method is used with one of the killer whale's favorite treats being the great white shark. You know, that big, nasty, deadly one that appeared earlier? The great white has a maneuver that it uses to fake its death, flipping over onto its back to make it appear to be dead and relaxes its breathing. However, this trick doesn't really work on the big killer whale and the whale will actually use it to their advantage by flipping the shark over, causing them to be unable to breathe, which slowly drowns them and causes them to be an easy snack. It would seem that the orca reigns as true champion of the world's deadliest ocean animals. This has been a short look at some of the world's deadliest ocean animals, and we want to know, have you ever encountered any of them? Or which ones did we leave off of our list? Tell me all about it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Chimpanzees. Now, Harambe wasn't the only primate who never learned the difference between good touch and bad touch. We begin with what science believes to be our closest relatives, the chimpanzee. 